Hey, Vlad here from DemonsID.com. Welcome to the second book review on my channel. In case you're new here, you should probably know that the majority of my videos are about Scala and I've been doing Scala for almost 12 years at this point. And it all started with the book that we're reviewing today. Or did it? Story time. The year was 2010 and I was at the university at the time. And one of my professors, a very influential one in fact, approached me. He stumbled on Scala a couple of months ago and he fell in love with it and he wanted to make a lecture about it and so he was promoting it, you know, looking for students who would be interested in checking it out. We knew each other from other lectures and so he was sure that I would like it and boy was he right. He mentioned that we had books about it in our library and so I went there and there it was. Programming in Scala, the first edition. It was Scala to 7 at the time and I really feel like a dinosaur saying this. By the way, there's a similar book called Programming Scala without the in part. This is not the one that we're talking about today. In fact, I haven't read this one, but it is written by some very influential people even outside the Scala community, so I'm sure that it is good as well. We're talking about Programming in Scala by Martin Odersky himself, Lex Spoon, and Bill Wenners. I took it, read it, fell in love, and many years later I pretty much haven't done anything else but Scala, except for a couple of detours during my university years. Recently Scala 3 came out, and with it the fifth edition of the book, which I actually haven't read. I know it's a bit unorthodox to review a book that you haven't read, but it's written by exactly the same people, so I'm sure it's even more awesome than the first two editions that I actually did read all of those years ago. Now, I would like to mention that when I was writing the script for this video, I found it very challenging to separate the book review from the language itself. So please be gentle with that dislike button. Now, what is this book about? Well, obviously it walks you through the entire language feature by feature, but it actually starts with some motivation. At the time, the goal was to make a better Java. In fact, I remember a phrase from this book that goes along the lines of, you could do the same thing in Java, but Java is syntactically so much more cumbersome that most programmers simply wouldn't bother to introduce the same abstractions in question. And so the first point that I would like to make in this review that even though it is very common for books that cover one programming language to also sort of like introduce you to programming, this particular book is not exactly suited for that. So if you're someone who's just starting out, you're not exactly the target audience. You probably will benefit more from this book if you already know some other language. It could be Java, but it's not necessary. Having experienced the pain points of other languages allows you to appreciate what Scala has to offer. It's like in one of those classic Dijkstra's quotes, simplicity is a great virtue, but it requires hard work to achieve it and education to appreciate it. And to make matters worse, complexity sells better. Now, to be fair, if you're transitioning from something else to Scala, I have to warn you that the grass is not always greener. We do have some challenges of our own, whether it's the tooling landscape or some drama in the community or an almost tribal fragmentation of the ecosystem. However, when it comes to the language itself, at least me personally, 99% of the time, I'm golden. So yeah, even though this is a book review, I actually don't have much to say about the content. It's Pretty straightforward, very simple to follow, it's very comprehensive. Some chapters cover some very advanced topics like variants and some very complex types, but for the most part it's very very straightforward. I remember rereading the chapter about partially applied functions like three times. Even though I already knew C-sharp at the time and so I knew what lambdas were, somehow the partially applied functions and the syntax for them for some reason didn't want to click. One thing that I really liked about this book is that it didn't try to sell Scala as a functional language. For instance, there are several chapters about mutability and inheritance, which is something that is very hard to come by in Scala books these days. I mean, it's for a good reason, but still, for a book like this, ignoring a large portion of the language is probably not the way to go. One thing that I didn't like about the book is how long it was. For me personally, it was not a problem because I loved every bit of it, but it's just not easy to recommend to somebody. Oh yeah, just go check out this big ass book. Scala is so simple that it requires almost 900 pages to cover. I believe that the fifth edition is much shorter. The number of chapters went down from 33 in the second edition to only 24 in the fifth edition. And also the number of pages went down from almost 900 to 650-ish. So all in all, it's a great book and I give it a solid 9 out of 10. Take it for a spin. The ebook version is around 30 bucks at Artima. I hope you're enjoying my book review series. The videos in it are much shorter 
order and honestly i believe it's better for everybody involved in any case i see you in the next one and for now as always it's been vlad from devinsidey.com don't forget to like this video if you did subscribe if you want to improve the developer inside you and if you learned something today consider support me on github sponsors or patreon whichever you prefer and let's watch my videos weeks and sometimes even months before everyone else and most importantly take care